a perfect day. You know, look at this place. Yeah, it started back in 1946. It was uh, one year after the Second World War. There was a time when you didn't know if your bike was going to start, you know. I mean, the bikes were so primitive, you know, your chains came off the sprockets, you know. The bike stopped for no good reason. You know, it, it's come a long ways. Nothing touches the motocross, the nations, nothing comes close to it. How many sports in this day and age can have one event at one venue or one field on one given day where every nation brings its three best athletes and lets them fight it out and see who wins. It doesn't get any better than that. In a normal race, you race for your fee you get from your team. But here, you race for the flag, and that's so unique. There's only three riders that get chosen to ride for your country. It's such a, such a big thing and an honor to ride for your country. This is the greatest off-road event in the world. I want, when I'm done racing, I want to be able to say that I've won this race at least one time. We should win this event, you know, but we have to stay focused because when, when you look that much of a favorite, that's when things can go wrong also. This is probably the bacon right here, your last one, huh? There's probably 10 teams that legitimately have a shot at winning. I mean, it wouldn't take a miracle. I need to see you charge that whole race. Get me proud. I don't know, I don't know, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. You got to go up there with your head on right. You got to go in there ready to fight the biggest fight you've ever been in your life. Filipino went down. It's going to be a good movie, huh? <laughs>